Continuing our local Commitment 2020 coverage, attracting teachers with housing and better internet, two things that voters will be voting on. That is what they are going for in one local school district if voters approve Measure N. More on Measure N tonight from Action News 8 reporter Alani Latang. In Soledad, some who live there say it's a lot of room for improvement when it comes to public schooling. The rental market is far from robust. Dozens of students within Soledad Unified face lagging, unresponsive internet, this despite the district providing roughly 700 hotspots to families. I have at least one parent call me a day. I have, I'm having internet issues. I have hotspot issues. I, I don't think I've ever had one day where I don't have like somebody having some kind of connectivity connecting issue. Issues that led to Soledad Unified School District to draft Measure End, a bond measure authorizing the sale of bonds to enhance technology by building additional cell towers for long-term internet connectivity. It's become a real challenge while learning remotely in a pandemic. Yeah, it's a real struggle. It's like your electricity going off in your classroom. It's affecting classroom instructions. When you're in the middle of a lesson and you have your screen is frozen, I can't see what you're saying. Uh, I don't know what you're, you know, like your screen is not showing up and it's just spinning. And you're like, okay, we'll try to log back off and try to log back on. Or, and then you have to meet with them later in the day and go over the whole lesson sometimes. Many students getting left behind in the process. If they're on certain websites, they're it just kind of spins and spins and it doesn't allow them to get in. Measure N also authorizes bonds to build an apartment building in the city for teachers to rent and create roots. My boyfriend and I are living in a room. Uh, luckily, we have somebody that let us um, live in their house and we have just our room and just this stuff is what we have. Third grade teacher Chelsea Ashley says after three years of teaching in Soledad, she's still looking for a place to call her own. Whereas fifth grade teacher Jaime Seha commuted for seven years from King City before finding his family's home in Soledad. I've been more part of the community. I've, I've volunteered, I've been, I've coached soccer, um, you know, T-ball, which I wasn't doing before because I was, you know, commuting and just, get, you know, leaving the King City or out of town and then I wouldn't come back. The district says they haven't heard any opposition so far. If passes, Measure N will cost homeowners $3 for every $100 of assessed valuation to be paid with property taxes. Teachers are excited about it. They, they see it as a need. And if the, we could knock off some of their commute, if you have a place where teachers can come live and really make it feel like they're making an impact in this community, this community is going to grow. And the kids are going to have way better opportunities in life because they have teachers that care and want to make a difference. So. In Soledad, I'm Alani Latang, KSBW Action News 8. In order for this measure to pass, it needs a yes vote from 55% of all of the votes.